thought the Texas Attorney General, the state's top cop, had fallen. That Ken Paxton is the most corrupt politician in the state of Texas. To rock bottom. He was impeached. He has no regard for the principles of honor and integrity. But then acquitted. This was a total vindication of the Attorney General, and that's how it should be viewed. Ken Paxton escaped political prosecution, but what lies ahead is criminal. So the stakes are higher. Paxton could potentially fall farther. The AG will finally go to trial on felony securities fraud charges in the spring of 2024. He was indicted in the summer of 2015. In a sense, this is actually even more serious than the impeachment trial because it really deals directly with his liberty. Paxton and his legal team have been trying to get this case thrown out for almost nine years. There's also an active federal investigation into Paxton. WFAA confirmed a grand jury in San Antonio heard testimony from witnesses close to the AG. And Paxton is also still being sued by four whistleblowers. The Court of Impeachment of the Texas Senate is now in session. That's the case that sparked the historic impeachment trial at the state capitol. A two-week trial, WFAA covered gavel to gavel. The Republican-led Texas Senate was the scene after the Republican-led House impeached Paxton, also a staunch Republican, accusing him of abusing his office to benefit a campaign donor and retaliating against employees who reported him to the FBI. He was acting like a man with a gun to his head. The whistleblowers painted a clear picture of corruption. I was deeply concerned that the name and authority and power of our office had been, in my view, hijacked to serve the interests of an individual against the interests of the broader public. But the defense described an AG who hired rogue employees. The statement of being rogue is contrary to the years that I dedicated my life to the state. Employees who just wanted power for themselves. You were involved in staging a coup, weren't you? Absolutely not. Paxton's alleged mistress was even called to the Capitol, but avoided testifying. Paxton's wife, a senator, watched it all, start to finish. But Paxton himself did not, only showing up twice. An Attorney General Warren Kenneth Paxton Jr. is hereby, at this moment, reinstated to office. In the end, Paxton walked away more powerful and popular with his base. A conviction would have removed him from office, and he could have been barred from running again. But the consequences could be harsher now. Securities fraud is a felony. A conviction could mean up to 99 years in prison. 2023 tested Paxton's political resilience. 2024 will test more.